you were driving in this morning, maybe you saw the magenta and the teal on the skyline. That's to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. And it's also just a time to celebrate the history and cultures of Mexico, Central and South America, the Caribbean and Spain. Hispanic Heritage Month started as just a week in 1968 under President Lyndon Johnson. In 1988, President Ronald Reagan expanded it to cover the 30 day period from September 15th today to October 15th. Now, September 15th is significant because it's Independence Day for Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. Tomorrow is Mexican Independence Day. And to help us celebrate the start of Hispanic Heritage Month is Chef Juan Romero with Cave Ressa. How are you? I'm good, thank you very much. We're glad to thank have you, you in the QC kitchen again. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. You Excited know, for this month. It is. I know. What does it mean to you to have the start of the month? It's exciting because the community has accept, accepted us so well uh, at Fresa. We're, we have been nominated for the best tacos in Charlotte, at Keonda. We have a new menu, we have brunch, and we're very excited, very, very excited uh, of what's to come. And it's such a, people really embracing um, the culture, and then again, wh what's all to celebrate within the culture? What is your favorite thing to celebrate about your culture? My favorite thing is show how proud we are of our heritage mm. and showcase the culture via the food and um, the service that we provide. And the food is such a gift to all of us, right? Yes, Especially yes. those of us who are, you know, weren't born into that culture. Um, I want you to share, we always have some new people moving into the Charlotte area, um, a little bit about Que Fresa. Okay, so a little bit about Que Fresa. We're a modern Mexican taqueria, uh, focused on uh, traditional flavors, but with a twist. We have influences uh, from South America and a little bit of Asia and we focus on tacos, both street tacos and preppy tacos. Preppy being our, our thing, yeah. our fancy type of tacos. The fancy tacos, yes. I love it. Okay, so tell me what you want to make today. So we're making a uh, pork pipián dish, which is a green mole. This is from our Keonda uh, brand. Uh, what is pipián? Pipián is a green mole, <coughs> okay. which is uh, based uh, of pepitas. Look at that. So that is what we're talking about. Say it one more time, the type of green mole. Green mole pipián. Pipián. Which is sure tomatillos uh -huh. and pumpkin seeds as a base. <gasps> we have a pork belly, which is smoked. Yeah. We lightly fry it. Oh my gosh, look at that. We have some already fried. Uh, this is a sweet corn puree. This is our take <gasps> on a street corn tamal. Oh so my gosh. So this is gosh. sweet, this is salty. All of these flavors you're mentioning really feel, they sound like fall to me too, like those things that we would seek out at this time of year as well. Exactly, and in Mexico, uh, moles are usually uh, prepared for special occasions. So this is our take on mole. Again, smoked, smoked pork belly, uh -huh. the corn puree in the bottom. We topped it off with the green <gasps> pipián, which is the green mole again. Can I ask what goes into all of that? Like what so the base of the yeah. green mole uh -huh. is uh, tomatillos, mm -hmm. which is a green tomato. Right. Uh, we have pepitas, which uh -huh. is pumpkin seeds. The right. We have jalapenos, we have cilantro. Okay. Um, and Mexican spices. Because it's so beautiful. I was like, what makes it all come together, right? Uh, this is cotija cheese, which is a uh, goat <gasps> milk kind of cheese. I love cotija cheese. These are pumpkin seeds. Uh -huh. This is the base of the pipián sauce. Mm -hmm. Is this something you offer year-round at Quefresa? Yes, okay. this is actually a new item on our menu. Uh -huh. uh, we just launched a Keonda Plaza Meatwood, which is our new location. Yeah. Uh, pickled onions and then micro cilantro. Okay, this is a work of art. So first, <laughs> first I have to take a picture before I take and a that's bite. that's our pork pipián. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So you say you just launched this yes. at and the Plaza Midwood location. Yep. Um, how are things going at the Plaza Midwood location? It's actually going really well. Uh, we uh, revamped the menu uh -huh. at, the Keon, at the Plaza location. We have new dishes uh, focusing on uh, Mexican regions. Uh -huh. Like we have a Monterrey shrimp, which is bacon wrapped shrimp. Mm -hmm. We have a Veracruz salmon, which mm -hmm. is uh, uh, inspired in the coast of Mexico in Veracruz. Yeah. And we have a whole fish fried. So, and this, the pork, pork mole pipián, which is our star right now. I want to jump in here, but I wanted to know for, for you personally what it means really, why it's so important to really capture the heart of each of these regions um, when you are celebrating the food and the culture. Again, to showcase um, the heritage, mm -hmm. uh, the culture from each region of Mexico, uh, bring, it, bring a little bit of it uh, to Charlotte mm -hmm. and um, 
I'll hit them. You got it. Can I get this right here? Yes, you may. Okay, wonderful. I do want to ask too, before I take this bite, um, you were recently named one of the top 25 hot and new Latinx restaurants in the country. Yes, we were. I mean, what does that mean? We, we're really happy about it. We're actually number 19. Uh, uh, Yelp gave us uh, the position mm -hmm. uh, for Que Fresa Taqueria. Uh -huh. And we're excited. We want to be the best. We will be the best. Top 25 in the country. Yes. Congratulations. Thank okay, you very much. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. It's a combination mm -hmm. of flavors, sweet, mm -hmm. salty, little spicy, tangy. You know what that creamy. tastes like? Yes. Tastes like I'm, you're on a top 25 list oh, for the country. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so good, Chef Juan. Thank you so much for being with thank us. Thank you very much. Celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month with us or allowing us to celebrate with you, I should say. Here's the website, the Instagram, and the Facebook page. We appreciate you so much, and congratulations Thank again. you very much. Thank mm. you for having us. I'm going to keep eating this. Don't forget, it'll be on the QC Kitchen app. It is free and in your app store. Kristen, I'm going to send it over.